Welcome. Thank you very much for the support of the event. Welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you, Denise, for a great presentation. And you gave me some inspiration now. So, um, it was a warm, sunny day, a bit like today, four years ago. I'd been working on the BlackBerry ad platform, and BlackBerry were clearly moving away. They were going to go to Google's ad platform. So I decided it was time to look for some work. I, um, I was the engineering director for this really, truly magnificent project, really a scalable, Amazon-based ad platform um, that was built by these guys in Toronto, Athens, Ukraine. And I was not sure I would find something equivalent, a challenging job. So I started looking through LinkedIn. I had um, some interesting positions I saw, nothing great. But then I saw a cluster of jobs on this one company I didn't know about. I looked and I saw this guy, Marios, I used to work with. I saw Irini and Zisi is also working, two top-level developers. Yeah, hi, there you go. Uh, my star is on my team at uh, Velti. So I, I reached out to Marios, um, and I was, I was interviewing in August, a month later. And I discovered a company that was putting technology first. Not only technology first, but also we're on a great mission. It was a secret. And in October, I joined as a technical product manager, a director of technical project management. It was a shift in the role, but it was a shift I accepted because I knew I would be challenged in my engineering skills. So, oh, I'm on the wrong slide. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's the slide I was supposed to be on. Anyways, it was a warm and sunny day. And um, this is our mission. So we're truly putting technology first, but for a very important mission. The most important content in the world is medical, scientific, technical, engineering research. It is the material that drives our future our longevities, hopefully we'll live longer, and happiness for the future generations. So if you're passionate about technology, I'm sure you'll find something really interesting in Atapon. And that's why I'm here to talk to you guys, because here we are full of engineers. So we host nearly 50% of all peer-reviewed content in the world, we, we are the leaders. We've bypassed any competition. We've been growing our traffic steadily. We have, we have big traffic problems, huge servers. Um, definitely, the, 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 the ability to handle 300 million sessions per month doesn't seem huge. But when you have to deal with purchases, when you have to do AI recommendations live, when you have to make everything very quick and, and have identities recognized, um, it, it, it's a challenge. And Atipon was founded in 1996. So, you know, we've been around for 23 years. We, um, we were based in Silicon Valley. We were started by a Greek guy. Um, and we are truly a Silicon Valley kind of company. Every month, we have the head of Google Scholar come to our offices, or we go to their offices, and we meet them. We talk about how to improve search. We go to all the tech conferences in the valley, around the states. We have technologists distributed. We have a lot of people working remotely. But are we have a big hub in Santa Clara. We have developers in Rochester and New York. And Athens has become a really important hub. 
So when I joined in 2015, I was employed 22 here. We're 92 now, and we're growing. So this is why it's a bit of an unknown s secret. You know, we've been coming out of nowhere and growing from five people. So we started in 96. I think by 2000 there was five people and it stayed pretty much constant over the years. And we have grown suddenly. We've become the market leaders. And we're very technically focused. Our staff is very engineer heavy. Oops, I should show that. So we have sales, we have client services, but engineering is extremely strong. Solution architects, product managers. You know, I, I, I'm a product manager. I was developing code for 15 years. I became, a, became an engineering director. And I went to product management because I know that Attitapon would challenge me technically. We're around the world. We have development hubs, well, now a big one in Athens, in Amman, in Santa Clara, of course. We have uh, one growing in Rochester, in New York. It's near uh, Toronto, so we get uh, the Waterloo in Canada talent. New York City, we have a uh, couple developers. And um, in Prague, we're actually growing a good office there. Our clients are from around the globe. Scholarly publishing is mostly coming out in the West and North America. But there's more and more need for publishing across the world. And so we're starting to have clients come from different parts of the world and say, you know, we want to make our things our research available online. How can you help us? How can you make it easily discoverable? On our stack side, we're very Java-centric, and but we, 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 we cover everything. And, and the technology that doesn't necessarily matter. We need, and we want, and we have talent, people who understand what coding is, how to make algorithms, what are the best practices. In Athens, we have a core technology team. They're building the content system. We have tough problems to solve. You know, how to optimize storage, how to do distributed uh, processing, clusters, sending events. These are, these are really good problems to have. Our search technology is also based in Athens. Doing some awesome stuff there. AI has been in that solution for the last 10 years. We've won awards from the search quality for scholarly content. And as Google may help researchers hunt for content, our search engine and our alerting engine allows researchers to gather content. So we've, we're taking it a next step. Google is important, but our search is something else. And Literatum is a flagship product. That's what we install for all our publishers. That's where everything is hosted. It's a platform made of components loosely coupled. It was a monolith. We've taken it all apart. And we have a mission to make AI-centric to everything. We're placing it every in everywhere. We, we had it in search. We're really good at that. Now we're going to bring it into more areas. So we have, we have teams of researchers. We're working with the university in Saloniki, for example, um, doing specific investigation about how to do specific, specific uh, image analysis. Um, and we have a vision to take all this data that we have and bring it together and infer knowledge from it using AI machine learning, some of the techniques you saw there. So we're, we're building a team now. Um, actually, Irini I talked about is on that team. She transferred over. We're growing it. And we need people. So if you're interested, come talk to us. We also have done a lot of work in our automation. So um, we used to have everything sort of homegrown, scripts and all this. In the last three, four years, um, I, I, I invited Aris Dimitriou, who's speaking tomorrow, um, to go and 
join Atipon. And he came and he converted everything so that we actually are standards, we're scalable. We are truly DevOps now. We've actually deployed our in-house Kubernetes cluster about a month ago, and it's up and running. We've also taken um, testing very seriously. We're automating everything and we're adding behavioral driven, behavior driven development into our pipeline. I hired Yanis three years ago and we, we built up Testipon. He, he, he coded a platform that now we have thousands of scenarios written in Gherkin, running through Cucumber, giving us results and Allure reports every day. We fully automate everything. We're working on it. Manual testing exists still, of course. And we're also reorganizing ourselves this year. So we're, we're, we were traditionally a very flat hierarchy, um, Silicon Valley style, you know, tribe centric, but we've grown. So now we've, we're adopting the Spotify model. And um, Atipon is a big company. We're also part of a larger company that bought us out a few years ago, Wiley, a 200-year-old company, a public company. But we work very independently, and this is our headcount of Atipon now. We've done some acquisitions recently, and we're really spreading ourselves onto the researcher side to help the researcher write their publications, to help the researchers discover the next science that they need to see. And that's our, our CEO, Georgios, great guy. He's, a, he's the reason why Atapon is a success and the reason why Atapon is really a technology-centric company. Oops, sorry, wrong way. So, if you're interested in the secret of Atapon, and you're interested in making a, a difference in the world and working on the most important content and making it available for the future, come talk to us at our booth. Look up the job openings on our site. And even if it's not a match for you, apply if you love it. Because we're looking for talent. We're looking for people who want to make a difference. And thank you. Right.